Cedar Creek has sort of languished at near the bottom of the uh, water quality rankings of our tributaries to the Thames River. And uh, the, this uh, Hodges Pond Dam is one of the reasons why. And what's happening is the water on the lake itself is getting very warm in the summertime, which takes the really high quality cold water that flows into the Hodges Pond and turns it into a warm water condition. Once that warm water flows over the old dam and flows into the Cedar Creek downstream, we now have a warm water stream as opposed to a cold water stream. So the, the main reason for putting this new stream channel in is to re-establish a cold water stream right from the source, I think, and I hope, all the way down to the 401. trying to do is uh, remove a barrier from Cedar Creek system and essentially when this structure was put into place there was a dam it's about 13 meters wide and a couple of meters high they built it um, in, in an area by itself and then built the creek around it and then filled in the old channel to create the pond and the dam. Um, working with the county was sort of the first partner because they're the landowner here, working with them on a vision for this property and how we could go about the sort of logistics of it. And then uh, the bypass around the dam, uh, working with Ministry of Natural Resources on permitting and Stewardship Oxford on and some local contractors on the construction. Wetland work was really Ducks Unlimited and Stewardship Oxford, uh, Cowan Foundation on funding. And then hopefully in the future, there's going to be work on the fish habitat. We'll be involving different partners on that. And as we've been constructing, we uncover large boulders. So we place them, as we have behind me and, and other spots, in different locations to act as underwater habitat for fish, crayfish, and, and other aquatic species. It's kind of nice to get building material right on site. It's free and it, it's quite effective and it works quite well with the material we're bringing in. It's uh, very gratifying to see all the hard work that people have put in, uh, all the different partners, to, that uh, we finally saw the water released in the stream's original channel yesterday, and yeah, very gratifying. Well, the, the big concern we had was the water temperature and the lack of oxygen, and uh, this should lower the temperature, especially in the summer, and uh, we can hear it back behind us, uh, trickling and aerating, so we should see a change in the uh, fish species that can get upstream and all the things that uh, they feed on and that feed on them. I hope that this creek is uh, going to be designated as a cold water stream that uh, people in the future will be able to come out from the city, it's such a close, close drive out, and uh, explore um, a, a more natural environment than is what's offered in the city. Uh, it'd be great to have students come out here and see uh, the new wetlands, see uh, wildlife and habitats and that we can create them from basically from scratch is a really interesting opportunity.